everybody, it's your boy SBX. Another video for you guys. Well, this time I want to talk about why people idolize and promote hoes these days. You get what I'm saying? Like the people like the Kim Kardashians, Amber Rose, the Black Chinas, the Superheads, the etc. You know what I'm saying? Now, to be honest, man, hoes have a reputation of looking good. And also the reputation of how well they can fuck and things of that sort to pretty much crave a man's sexual appetite. Now, I feel like the issue about it is that society will tell you in a morally perspective that it's wrong to be a hoe, it's not good, and women do their best to be as pure as possible as far as not you know fucking different type of men staying in their own lane of being in, with their relationship and things of that sort now on the flip side of it it's a contradiction why I say it's a contradiction is because women like to say that okay you know Men are guilty of liking fucking with hoes, but they act and, you know, pretty much have a fucking mindset as a prostitute. Reason why I say this, think about it. You know, for example, you know how women say that they want a man with money and if you ain't got no money, and no pussy. The same things applies to a prostitute. Where if a prostitute is going to give you service. You got to cough up the dough in order to get the hoe. Think about it. Now. People will say no no it's different. No it's the same. Why I say it's the same. Is because women will not tell you. That deep down inside they are hoe. Unless they're bluntly admit it. But the ways of saying what they want on some gold digger shit, it's like dealing with a prostitute. Now, sex is just not everything in life where it doesn't benefit you of, of a doubt. It's not going to benefit you in the long worlds in the future. It's going to always make build a good or bad reputation. And to be honest, though. I feel like celebrities like Kim Kardashian and Amber Rose, Black China, Superhead, and these type of women, they out there promoting so much hoish behavior. Now, Marilyn, Ma Marilyn Monroe, excuse me, Marilyn Monroe, she was known for being a hoe as a celebrity. Excuse me, guys. I had to take a drink for this one. Now, Marilyn Monroe had sex with JFK. And, you know, she didn't have no shame in her game. And to be honest, a lot of females these days are idolizing the hell out of Marilyn Monroe. As far as using her quotes... Dressing like her, acting like her, buying stuff that relates to her, rather if it's like a purse or a bag or whatever, a tattoo on there, things of that sort. To me, it escalated around the early days. Now, back in the early days, before Instagram and, well, and Snapchat and all those shits, Women never act like this. <clears throat> I have to take a drink of this one right here. Women were never the type of women who were showing their asses and twerking and putting um, injections on their tits or an ass back in the early days with, with our parents and our grandparents and great grandparents days, you know? Women were civilized. Women were down to earth. Women were like pretty much 
simple women who love to stay in their own land, love to do things a woman's way. Of course, we had hoes back in the days. That is not, I'm not, I'm not denying that. But the difference was, hoe was not really what was up. Hoe was prevent was um was um what you call it forbidden. You know what I'm saying? It was forbidden to be a hoe. But we had hoes back in the days, but hoes weren't idolized, you know, as it was uh, fucking 50, 60 years later. You know what I'm saying? Now, compared to what I'm trying to say is that, you know, today's generation of females, all they want to do is show their ass, show their titties, and they're famous. And not to mention, if they married... Or had relationships with other celebrities, then she's famous for fucking different celebrities. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't have any talent. She doesn't sing. She doesn't rap. I mean, I'm, I'm not talking about that bullshit. Oh, yeah. Turn my sweat. Oh, yeah, ah, yeah. Oh, none, none of that shit. I'm talking about real compassionate about her talent. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't sing. She doesn't rap. She doesn't do any type of acting. I'm, I'm talking about some real professional type of shit. Like some Holly Berry type of, you know, acting. Or anything like that. You know, when I look at women like Kim Kardashian, Amber Rose, Cat Stacks, and um, I look at pathetic fucking female hoes who just trying to get by because, you know, all they can do is show their ass. You know what I'm saying? And they marry celebrities. Like, okay, Amber Rose broke up with Wiz Khalifa. Um, Black China broke up with um Rob Kardashian. Now, Rob on, on his part, he really made a fool out of himself for trying to be with this girl. And on top of that, you get what I'm saying? He should already know that she's a hoe. You get what I'm saying? She's a hoe. You can't hoe. You can't marry a hoe. You can never mar- put. A, you can never put a ring on a hoe. You can never, ever in your life to make a hoe into a housewife. That was just never, ever going to reconsider in that state of mind of a woman who's going to act like this at all. I mean, I feel sorry for the dude, but at the same time, I shouldn't be because he set himself up. And like I said, my issue with today's women these days is okay, they they will they will defend and glorify women like this, watch these fucking dumbass reality TV shows, and want to be like them on the low. You get what I'm saying? When they in the club, shaking their asses, wearing tight clothing, have red, green, purple, orange, white, gray, fucking highlights in their goddamn hair, dyeing their hair a certain color. I mean, that's not the issue when I'm talking about women going to dress like that. Because women have been wearing some provocative clothing for many years. That's never going to end. But what I'm trying to say is that people want to contradict themselves in saying that they're not a hoe. But you do hoeish behavior. You act like a prostitute. You dress like a prostitute. But you don't want to admit that you are a prostitute. Then later on, you want to say that, oh, I like to do this, all this stuff. I need my man to, you know what I'm saying? That's bullshit. That's what a prostitute say. A prostitute will say, in order for you to fuck me, pay me. A woman will say it, but they want to make it seem like, okay, it's, it's, it's a must. Like it's a fucking, you know... It's, it's, it's a rule to the game, like as if, you know, it, it, you gotta be, um, how can I put it? It's like, it's a, it's a ultimatum. You get what I'm saying? I can't really explain it, but what I'm trying to say though is that women want to make it seem like it's like a priority to, you know, think it's okay to be a fucking hoe. But, it's, but it's safe to say that they shouldn't say that they're a hoe or they think that they're not doing hoish behavior. I mean, I feel like that's the thing. Women are fucking prostitutes these days. 
because they copy over the same shit that they watch on the fucking reality TV shows and music videos and stuff like that. It's been like this for many years, but what I'm trying to say is that I feel like the problem is this is what's wrong with Western society. This is what's wrong with women in this day and age, why right? they so-called they can't find a fucking man. Because you jump over the same type of niggas who don't give a fuck about you. And when you see a nice guy who like you for who you are, besides all that fucking clown outfit you call a wardrobe, and you putting shit up your ass, and putting shit up your fucking titties, you want to look like a fucking plastic Barbie doll, blow-up doll or some shit, but you want to you want to impress these men. Or you want to try to press these hoes. You get what I'm saying? And it's too much to bury. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I really feel like I gave up. I, I, I gave up on westernized women a very long time ago. Because when I look out the middle of the streets. It's like all you see is women. Like, like what I'm trying to say. I see women with the most biggest beautiful asses. But it's just that. They dress like sluts, even though they not sluts. They dress the part. You get what I'm saying? And that, and then on top of that, the ones that are worse to see or trying to holler at the one who pushing up the cart with, with like little like not a cart but like little baby strollers, and you see their kid and they holding their kids hands and whatever, and they're following up in the line like fucking ducklings and shit like that. Those are the type of women that I try, I do my best to avoid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong having a kid. But what is wrong is if you have multiple kids with different niggas and you're still looking like a fucking thot. And you think, okay, it's not your fault. But it's clearly your fault. Because you let the same niggas hit it from the back. And like I said, you got Maury Show, you got Steve Wilkos, you got... All this other bullshit on TV trying to like idolize hoes for what they doing because they should have wanted to be fooling because they the one who's sleeping with 300 fucking men and yeah she's a fucking hero because oh because she take care of the child okay so fucking what she don't know who the fuck the father is and on top of that she fucked so many men in the world and she's not even careful no, boobs are her for that shit. She's a fucking asshole for doing that shit. She's stupid. And and you know, and on top of that, you manipulate men to even consider to you think should be the father. No, fuck that. <sighs> fuck that shit. I mean, that's just the problem with females. It's like women think, okay, because they do some slutty fucking things they get rewarded oh she get her own reality tv show she get rich oh she made a porno now she's famous no this is retarded this is the, this is why this this reality this today's uh, reality of life really suck you get what i'm saying and women know that it's not okay to be a hoe and you got amber rose doing a fucking movement for sluts called the slut walk and then y'all bitches just is this fucking cheering and say, yeah, yeah, Amber, you're the best, yeah, 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 we're we're whores and we're proud. And then when a nigga come fuck with you, you don't want nothing to do with it. You want to be like, oh, I'm very pure and no man's gonna treat me like a hoe. That's what I'm talking about. It's the contradiction, and I can see it in their fucking insecure eyes. That's the problem. They fuck different niggas. They don't want to admit that they're a hoe. But when one guy put her in her fucking place, then she, then, 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 oh, it's bad. You get what I'm saying? Or she's a fucking hero for taking so much dick in her fucking ass. And it's fucking crazy and it's sad and inhumane. Hoes will never learn. Plain and fucking simple. And it's Hollywood is it's glorifying and idolizing not just thugs, but hoes too. Reality TV shows full of fucking bimbo hoes who, oh, I'm married to this rapper and I'm, I'm married to this singer. I'm married to this athlete. 
And what y'all do? Y'all bitch. Y'all complain. Y'all lie. Y'all cheat. If, if it's not the man cheating, it's your ass be cheating. And then you shaking your ass in the club like you fucking single or back doing your stripper days or whatever. Like, God fucking damn. Act like a motherfucking wife. Act like a woman who take care of her fucking children, stay her ass home, go to fucking work. I mean, a real productive job. Not shaking your ass and causing fucking mayhem. You know what I'm saying? If you're in the music videos, that's fine. But what I'm trying to say is a contradiction that all you see in the in on fucking love and hip hop and all this other bullshit is just women complaining and bitching and moaning and sticking out with these other hoes and then turn on their turn each other's back later on about the same bullshit. Like it's so fucking stupid, man. Like. That's, that's what's wrong with females these days. That's why I don't want to fuck with these type of females in, a, in my environment. Because all they do is the same old bullshit. And I don't mean to say that to, you know, the good females out there. But let's be real. It, women like this are never going to try to do something better with their lives until they get older and washed up. And no man doesn't give a fuck about you. And that's how women will learn how to be like women when they get older you know it's just that's the problem pussy will not be eternal it's going to be shoveled up it's going to look like fucking chewed up bubble gum that was been sticking underneath the fucking you know table or on a on a on a on a street sidewalk or the on concrete or whatever all swoosh and blackened and shoveled up that's how these hoes pussies going to look like in the next 20 and 30 years or so. And that's when they want a good man. I mean, that's just the whole contradiction what what females do. They like to trick out when they're young, but then they want to settle, but then they don't know how to settle. They want to trick off again, and then they want to settle again. And then when they have a child, then... Okay, I miss hoeing. And then you do it. And then once you get to be older, then is enough is enough. Women don't, like, that's that's the thing. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I really do not respect females like this in this day and age. Because all you see is, like, women showing their asses on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, or whatever. But we can't call you a hoe, but you do hoeish behaviors. It's a contradiction, folks. Just open your fucking eyes. I'm not saying it's not okay to fuck hoes, but be careful and not wife them. And also, too, admit that you're a hoe and be open about it as in like, okay, do you want to stop or do you want to continue on being a hoe? But at the same time, you should be rewarded for being a hoe. I don't know if I'm, I'm being a contradictional asshole about it, but at the same time, what I'm trying to say to y'all folks is that why do hoes get to be more successful than the average woman who actually does something productively good in her life that could change the world? That's what I'm trying to ask y'all. Why is these hoes getting a chance and the good women are, are thrown in the back seat? That's what I'm asking y'all folks. So anyways, folks, I'm done here. Let me know what y'all think. Comment, like, and subscribe. SBX, I'm out. Peace.